Today we're going to learn how to collage like artist and story writer Eric Carl. Eric Carl uses a unique style to create his art called collage. Collage is a style of art that is created by gluing different materials to a flat surface. Eric Carl likes to paint his paper before he collages it, but you can skip that part and still create a beautiful picture. Eric Carl also likes to create texture in his paintings by scraping into the paint with various tools. Today I'm going to show you how to create a copycat method using crayons instead of paint. You can also use construction paper if that's something that you have at your house. And construction paper is paper that's already colored for you. Or you can do my copycat method, which is taking white paper and using crayons to create different colors like the construction paper, but by using crayon. And what I do is I use my old crayons and really the older the better because no one minds when we peel the paper off of old crayons. What I do with that is once I have the, the paper peeled off, I color with the side of the crayon in a scraping method like this. You can turn your paper in different directions to get different types of texture. You can use different colors to add even more layers to your texture. You can color in different ways. It doesn't have to always just be the scraping method. And I think when we use different techniques, it makes our pictures more and more interesting, okay? Now today I think for my lesson, I'm going to imitate The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. This is one of his more popular books, The Tiny Seed. Some of you may have read it or may have not read it. I'm going to use my blue textured paper that I colored myself for my background because a lot of flowers do grow outside with the blue sky in the background. Now I decided to use some of my construction paper and I pre-cut cut some of my shapes. You can use scissors to cut your shapes or you can even tear some of your shapes. And sometimes I like tearing my shapes because it makes them look even more interesting because the sides aren't always sharp the way that scissors make them. And those kinds of shapes look interesting as well. I'm going to take glue. You can use a glue stick. It doesn't have to just be Elmer's. And like I always say in, in, in the corner, dot, dot, not a lot. When we glue down, when I give my demonstrations to you in, in the classroom, when we, when we glue down some of our different projects in here, and dot, dot, not a lot, boys and girls, especially for those of you who have never been in my classroom, just means we don't need to use that much glue to make something stick. Okay, I'm going to glue my leaves to my flower's stem. Then I'm going to glue my petals all around my flower, the top of the stem. Now notice as I glue down my petals, the glue is not really dry completely, so I have a little bit of freedom to move my picture around if I need to. It's okay, nothing has to be perfect in art. You can kind of move things around and create a composition by experimenting with different methods. I can choose to put a petal on top of that or I could choose to let us to let the viewer see the entire stem. I think I liked what it looked like when I put one on top. And then for the center of my flower, I can allow the blue background to become my center. 
or I can experiment with another color by again, tearing the paper. If you don't have scissors at home, or if you're not very comfortable with scissors, that's fine. Tearing paper is a very interesting way to create art because you get some really organic, interesting shapes. And I can plug that in if I want to. I can continue to experiment with my texture building. A lot of sunflowers have seeds in the center of them. That's why the book is called The Tiny Seed. So if I want, I can experiment a little more with my crayon. The sky's the limit. And remember, you're the artist. So there you have it. There's my example of my tiny seed collaged with different kinds of construction paper and homemade texture paper all inspired by Eric Carle and his book, The Tiny Seed. Try it yourself.